morning students welcome to this video today we are going to talk about the biology lesson 2 the components of food so before we start we will discuss about you know the previous topic you know what is the what is the previous topic the lesson 1 was food where does it come from you know so what to learn about that topics just you recall one second so what is food you know what is the meaning of food and where did it get you know there are the uh, two sources of food you know one source is plant source and another one source is animal source and uh, the ingredients you know and the uh, ingredients that means for the just to add a two material to prepare a any dish that is called the ingredients you know and next to what you learn and the uh, structure seeds and next you know and like that the uh, herbivores Uh, carnivores and omnivores. So these are the very important. So you have learned this content only in the previous class. You know. So today I am going to talk about the next lesson, the components of food. Today we are going to talk about the next lesson, the components of food. As we you know, the food is a very important for all living organism for growth and development in our body. You know. Food is very important for all living organism. Food is very important for all living organism for growth and development in our body. Okay, without food we can't do any work. So the food is very important for all living organisms. You know the day-to-day -day life we are eating the different kinds of food. You know we are not eating the same kinds of food. You know we are eating the different kinds of food item in our life. You know the morning morning eggs. Morning, you have eat tiffin like daily chapati, puri, or pongal, and uh, additionally your chutney, samosa, and so this is the morning breakfast. You know that lunch what you eat? So rice and samosa and pepper water and butter milk and some the vegetable preparation of the puri. So this is the lunch. Okay, what is some kind of meals? And night what you eat? Like the tiffin item, you know chapati. And those are idli and chutney samosa. So in our life, we are eating the different kinds of food item. We are eating the different kinds of food item. Okay. So in our country is a very vast country, you know. So there are the different kinds of people. They are living at the different places, you know. So definitely the different kinds of people. They are eating the different kinds of food item. They are all the people. They are not eating same kinds of food, you know. So they are eating the different kinds of food items. You know, for example, we are serving in Tamil Nadu. Okay, ma. So that's why we are getting the some of the special food item. You know, what is the for example rice and sambar and pepper water and the vegetable preparation like puriyal and the butter milk and pickles. So this is about the favorite food in Tamil Nadu. You know. The some people they are living in some other state. For example, some people they are living in Punjab. You know, so what is the major food they eat in Punjab? So that is the uh, uh, roti. You know, like the corn flour. You know, so they will prepare the roti and some of the uh, vegetable curry. Okay, well, so it is a major dish in Punjab. So the different state people, the different state people, they are eating the. Different kinds of food items. They are not eating the same kinds of food. They are not eating the uh, same kinds of food items. You know, uh, for example, you know, uh, each one can, each one of the meals. For uh, example, like we are the Tamil Nadu. You know, we are eating that rice and sambar and rasam and some of that uh, puri also. It is one of the meals. You know, another meals contain. You know, the another meals contain uh, chapati. Dal and the uh, um, brinjal curry also, you know. Then another one of the main was like popcorn, like the uh, fish fry, you know. Then some of the dal sambar. It is here another food day. So the different state people they are eating the different kinds of people, you know. So the page number eight, you know, the activity one, you know, our meals usually have at least the one item made up of some. Kinds of grain, you know. Day to day, we are eating the different kinds of food item, you know. So, for example, the morning, uh, we are eating some the dosa. Okay, your mother prepared that some sambar, you know. So, your mother definitely added some dal, you know. 
And so dolly is a very important part. You are prepared the sambar, you know. And you are you are mom prepared the vegetable curry in some other item, you know. Definitely your mother added the like the grains, you know. And your mother prepared the chicken biryani or mutton, you know. So that time your mother added that some the um, chicken and mutton and some some other okay, well, some other ingredients also she will add, it, you know. So that different kinds of food they eat, who provide the different nutrients for us, you know. It is one of the point. Why we are eating the different kinds of food they eat? You know, the different kinds of food they eat provide the different nutrients for us. So that nutrients is very important for people. Okay, well, for the growth and development in our body. Growth and development in our body. So that way, all the nutrients. So all the nutrients is very important for in our life. So that's why we are getting the different kinds of food items. So that's why we are getting the different kinds of food items. You know, uh, for a example, the nowadays we are living in Th Tamil Nadu, we are uh, getting some food items for rice and sambar and uh, vegetable fry. We are eating, and some maybe if you travel in some other state, okay, what? What you get? What are the food items is available in that state? So that kind of food item only we will eat. So that day what will happen? We will get some nutrients from other food items, you know. So that way we are in our life we are eating that a different kinds of food item. So the different kinds of food item provide the different nutrients for us. So that nutrients is very important for us because of growth and development in our body because the development in our body okay and next to one the activity the table the 2.1 given you know for the some one name one state name or the punjab you know so the item of grain you know so what the corn so they are they will prefer the roti and they will eat and some of the dal item and vegetable item and other item also is there and that Andhra, you know Andhra Pradesh also given in our book some what is the grain so they are eating the rice and some of the dal item and vegetable in some other item also is there another one column also is there you know just you fill it you know, or how to fill it first to write the, any one of the state name and that uh, item of grain so what they are using grain and the dal item and vegetable in some other sources also just you fill it the third column which is one of the activity okay and next to add so what do different food item contain you know what do what do different different kinds of food contain what do different kinds of food contain Different food items contain. You know, so already told we are eating the different kinds of food items. You know, so for example, yeah, your mother uh, prepared the chutney. You know, or the sambar, you know something. You know, so what all the ingredients is needed for prepare the sambar? You know, first your dal, you know, and vegetable and oil, dal, oil, mustard seeds, vegetables, curry leaf. A chili powder, you know, so these are the ingredients is very needed. Okay, so these are the ingredients needed for to prepare the sambar, you know. So, one more, you know, the ingredients, you know, ingredients means what, you know, add to material, add to material to prepare your any dish, so that is called that ingredients, you know. So, and before this, you know, one more the nutrients, you know. The nutrients. You know, daily we are eating the different kinds of food items, you know, so definitely the different kinds of food items provide the different nutrients for us, so that all the nutrients is very important for us for growth and development, you know. So the nutrients we 
nothing but the components of food. You know, the nutrients is nothing but the components of food that is called what? Nutrients. That is called what? Components of food that is called what? Nutrients. So, what is the meaning of the components of food? You know, so we are eating that rice. You know, and we are eating some of the vegetables. You know, then we are eating that some of that uh, um, food item like the chicken, mutton. You know, so. Normally we are getting the food from two sources, one source is plant and as well as the animal itself we know. So the components of food mean the food item provides the such nutrients for us. You know, the components of food mean like nothing but the sum of the nutrients is there, you know, like the carbohydrate. Carbohydrate and protein. Carbohydrate, protein and Fat and vitamins and minerals. So these are called that components of food. So that is components of food. So these components of food is known as called the nutrients. So the nutrients we can see first, you know, such components of food, such components of food like the carbohydrates and proteins and fats. And vitamin and mineral. So these are components of food. So that is called the nutrient. So the that is very important to our cousin. So what is nutrients? So nutrients mean nothing but the components of food. The components of food like the carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamins and minerals. You know. So these are components of food. So that is called the nutrients. You know. Then all the nutrients, the carbohydrate, or protein, or fat, or vitamin, or mineral. So these are all the nutrients is very important for us. For example, you know the carbohydrate. You know the carbohydrate. You know can you see some of the carbohydrate food items? You know. So what are the carbohydrate food items? You know, rice. You know, rice and wheat. You know. So these are the example of the carbohydrate food items. You know, rice and wheat and wheat. And mustard seed and the mustard seed. So these are the example of carbohydrate proteins, you know. And so the carbohydrate, you know, so that is the one of the specific aim, you know, to so energy giving food, you know. The carbohydrate, you know, the carbohydrate is an energy, energy giving food, energy giving food. Which one? The carbohydrate and energy we put what? The carbohydrate. Okay, and next one. Energy carbohydrate and fat. This is very important. And body building food. And second one, body building food. Body building food. So the body building food means which kind of protein? No. Proteins. Okay, ba? Proteins and protective food. And protective food. Which kind of? Vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals. So that is a very important. So the nutrients mean nothing but the components of food. You know, what are the components of food? The carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamin, mineral. So these are called the components of nutrients. So it's called the nutrients. You know. So the each nutrient they all provide the different. So the each nutrients uh, do the different function in our body. Okay. For example, we are getting the carbohydrate food items. You know, the carbohydrate food items. Provide the energy, provide the energy for us because the energy is very important for all living organisms. You know, without energy, we can't do any work. So that the energy is very important. Where do we get? Only that carbohydrate food items only. You know, for example, uh, where do we get carbo? Where do we get the carbohydrate? Uh, get from rice, wheat, and dates, and the mustard seed itself, and mustard seed itself, and the proteins. You know. So the protein that we take, you know, like the groundnut seed, you know, groundnut, and 
and that soya beans you know so where you get the protein you get you get protein you get the groundnut oil and soya beans in some other sources also is available okay well? and fat you know where you get fat like that meat you know yeah and fish eat us so these are the food they got provide the fat for us you know so that is the nutrients is very important so nutrients mean nothing but the components of food so what are the components is present the carbohydrates protein fat vitamin mineral so these are components of foods it is known as called the nutrients it is very very important the carbohydrates and fat food they get provide the energy you know so that is your energy giving food you know which kind of nutrients is known as called the energy giving food the carbohydrate and fat and which kind of food they get is known as called the body building food protein and which kind of food they get is protective food the vitamins and minerals so that is a very very important topic you know so and so now so we are getting the different kinds of food items you know so all the food item is containing the any nutrients yes you know how we know do some of the test or activity so that way you can use it to find out that these kinds of food item whether are protein or fat okay so that is one of the activity you know so uh, now you know the first one you know the how do you find out that so this sort the of food item is present the uh, carbohydrate or fat or vitamins or minerals so how do you find out do some of that activity do some of that activities okay so some of that uh, chemical substances is very important for these activities you know there is some of that so some of that the common chemical substances is very important for this test for carbohydrate and test for starch and test for proteins you know the test for carbohydrate and test for proteins test for fat you know so normally we are getting the different kinds of food data so that food data is containing the different nutrients how do you know do some of the activity so test for carbohydrate or test for proteins or test for fat you know there is some of the common uh, solution is very important for this test you know what are the solution what are the solution important for this test you know one is the solution of iodine one is the solution of iodine so solution of iodine so one is what what is that solution of iodine solution solution of iodine solution and second one first one what the solution of iodine solution next one copper sulfate the next one copper sulfate copper sulfate and third one is a gastric soda third one gastric soda gastric soda so these are the three solutions is important for test for carbohydrate proteins and fat 